Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the gombok, the world's first self-riding shape. In order to understand how a gombok works, we have to understand equilibrium points. Stable equilibrium and unstable equilibrium. For example, this is an unstable equilibrium. You could, if you got everything just perfect, balance an egg on its end, but it's really hard to do. So this is called an unstable equilibrium. And what happens in the unstable equilibrium is it always falls over and it goes to a stable equilibrium. So on its side, the egg is at a stable equilibrium. So we have an unstable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium, stable, and stable. For a cuboid, we have something similar. So we have stable, 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 this is stable, this is stable, but on every corner we have an unstable equilibrium. So the question is, what's the minimum number of equilibrium points you can have on a 3D object? Well, in 1995, a mathematician named Vladimir Arnold proposed that there's not a 3D object that currently exists that has less than four equilibrium points. Meaning if you add the stable and unstable equilibrium points, you'll never find an object with less than four. For example, you can have this object here, which seems like it only has one equilibrium point. You can put it up top like this, and it rolls over, and ends up stably upside like this. But this isn't just one equilibrium point. This is actually at least four equilibrium points. We have one stable equilibrium, one unstable here, one unstable here, and one unstable here. So that's four equilibrium points again. But one Hungarian mathematician named Gabor de Mokos, who actually named this shape the gombok, he tried to prove that this object can exist. And what he did is him and his wife collected a bunch of pebbles and he just rolled them on the ground and saw how many stable and unstable equilibrium points they had and saw if he could find any that had less than four. And unfortunately that failed. Eventually though, they were mathematically able to find a shape that existed that had only two equilibrium points, one stable equilibrium and one unstable equilibrium point. The gombok is the world's first three-dimensional convex and homogeneous shape that has only one stable and one unstable equilibrium point. So this is its stable equilibrium point, and this of course is its unstable equilibrium point, and there's no other stable or unstable equilibrium point on this whole object besides those two. Now you may have seen something that always pops up like that. There's toys that do this. But the cool thing about the gombok is that it's a homogeneous shape, meaning that it has the same density throughout the entire object. So basically if you were to make an object that doesn't have the same density throughout it, for example, if I just put some weight on this tape roll here, this will easily always ride itself. So it always comes back to this point. But in this case, you're cheating because you've made it a non-homogeneous shape. But in this case, there's no weights in this. The entire thing can be made out of a solid material and it still behaves like this. Now the coolest thing I think about the gombok is that you'll notice that this may look similar to something that you've seen in nature, a turtle. Now most turtles write themselves just by wiggling their arms and legs and head around and they can eventually flip themselves over if they get turned over. But some turtles have evolved the ability to flip themselves over using nothing but gravity. And basically what they've evolved is a turtle shell that looks like this. So if they get flipped over, no matter how they land, they can always write themselves if they just tuck everything in. Now there's only about three species of turtles that have evolved this way, but it's amazing that they've evolved this exact same shape that mathematicians had to prove existed. Now it turns out a true gombok is very hard to make because if it has any minor imperfections in it, then it will create another unstable equilibrium point or even a stable equilibrium point. And that's why the mathematician had such a hard time finding any objects that, in nature that are true gomboks. Even the turtle that I mentioned isn't a true gombok, but it's an imperfect one. Now these gomboks that I have here are actually 3D printed. If you want to make one, I'll put the file that I use in my description. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. And you can also hit the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.